all of you April All-Stars. It is Coach Vanessa. I know, shocking the world was showing up on a Monday for you guys. That's what happens when I get up on time at the beginning of the week. So I am coming on, um, and feel free to ask questions. However, I'm going to try to keep this short. We'll see. I always say that, but last week I did it. So let's see if we can do it now. Um, hey, Allie. So today, our training is all about social media tips. And I'm really excited for this one because social media with my marketing background is part of my background. I help other clients with it. Um, and it's there's even though there is a different approach that we have as Beachbody coaches, um, there are still things that you have to be careful of as far as rules, as far as you know, when you're working with Facebook and Instagram especially because they have different algorithms and they do mess with you based on the things you post, the amount of engagement you have. So we wanted to give you some tips to at least get started. Hey, you're killing me with all the videos today. It's video day. I should have dressed up. Sorry, Allie. It's like I'm with you. <laughs> um, so there's lots of different rules. So you just want to be careful that you're doing the things, and but you're still doing what you want to do to get yourself out there. So if I hurry up and run through these, I'm trying to see if I can pay attention to the clock. If I hurry up and run through these, I also have some tips as well. So let's see if we can do this. We are already two minutes in and I haven't even talked about anything yet. Good luck, guys. Okay, so first social media tip I'm going to give you is all about engagement. And I was going back and forth with Teja, and I'm like, what is the one thing? And I'm like, that one thing. She's so totally right, because me and my business sense, I had a million things going in my brain. And then she said it, and I'm like, yes, that is the, the most important thing. The most important thing that you need to focus on is engagement. And why do you need to engage so much? Well, one, your audience needs to see that you're a real person. Your audience needs to see that you're not just posting stuff like, oh, I am this wonderful person who works out all the time, and that you're not engaging with them. And there's a lot of ways that you can engage. Um, with Facebook, obviously you can ask questions, you can ask opinions. When you post a picture, in part of your whatever you write, you can ask a question like, what's your favorite workout program? What are you guys doing at home right now? What's helping keeping you sane? And as people start answering your question, you're gonna to respond to them. Like maybe you get somebody that's like, I have committed to you know, doing a jog every morning, first thing, and they post that and they share that with you. You can be like, that is awesome, good for you. One, here's the thing, you're building trust, you're building a relationship with these people. So obviously they can see you, that's an awesome thing, and you're creating conversations with them. So you're creating these nice little relationships with these people. And they're gonna keep looking out for you when they're looking in their scroll. Two, engaging with others is good for um, your algorithm. And what's the best way to describe this? Facebook and Instagram want to see that you are a person. And that's actually leading me to my, my next tip, is remember that you are a person. I know it seems really weird for me to say that to you guys, but so often I see coaches jump in and they're so excited and they're posting their workouts, which is great, and they're saying inspiring things, but then it's a constant hit of, I use my Shakeology, here's my Energize, and it's just pound, pound, pound. And one, that's not building trust with your, with your audience. Your audience wants to see the things that are helping you, but they wanna see the benefits. They wanna see that you're, you have more energy. Those are the things that you wanna show. You don't wanna be like, yeah, look, I got it in my cabinet, and I use it every day. They don't care about that. They care about why you're using it. They care about the things that it's doing and helping for you. So those are the things that you wanna share. It also, if you're doing it too much, um, Facebook and Instagram won't put you in the algorithm because, and so people won't be able to see you because they think that you're spam. They think that you are something that is just hitting people 
instead of engaging with people. So you have to remember that you are a person. Like I said, I know it's silly to remember that, but that's the way Facebook and Instagram especially, that's the way that they operate, even for businesses. So for those of you who are on Facebook and Instagram, it's good to have business accounts as well. Whether you turn your, you can still have your personal, um, this we can talk about later, but even businesses have to act like people. They want to see that people are operating them. They want to see that people are engaging with their audience who are having conversations and posts back and forth. That's what they want to see. So the more that you can create that, the more you're going to show up in scrolls for the people that are following you, and the more you're going to show up for people that don't follow you. Because if you're posting and engaging in other people's posts, people that you don't follow are going to see the things that you're writing. And maybe they want to be friends with you because they see your responses. That is especially true on Instagram. And one of the best ways to create followers organically is by going on and following going through and making comments on people's posts that have nothing to do with you whatsoever, but reaching out because it's something that called to you, it's something that made you laugh, it's something that inspired you, whatever it is, start commenting and engaging with the world outside, outside of your scroll because it's only gonna help bring more people into it. So there you go, engagement, remember you're a person, I'm already six minutes in, Tay's gonna kill me, um, get to know and love Facebook and Instagram stories. Um, I've already heard a couple of you go, what is a story? And I'm like, oh God. So I'm going to say this right now. Um, if you want more training on stories, please post in this comment in this live and say, yes, I want more training on stories or yes, give me something. Stories are a valuable, a huge valuable resource in so many different ways. I could go on for days on why stories are so awesome for you. Yes, it takes a little more time, but it's really fun and it allows people to get a deeper look into the real you. Remember when I talked about last week, no like trust? Stories help build that. Stories help people get to know you, they get to like you, and then they get to trust you because they see all these things that they wanna be a part of. And stories is a really easy way to make that all possible. Um, so like I said, if you want to get separate training on that, let me know and we'll probably create a whole separate entity for that because there is a lot that goes into it, but it is so beneficial to your business and will really help with all of these daily tasks, the invites, I do so many invites from the people who follow me on stories. Like it's, it's another level. So just wanted to let you know about that. Um, finally, don't shy away from other platforms. When we have platforms now like TikTok, which you can have followers, you can message them and DM them, um, Snapchat, LinkedIn, uh, they're, all, they're also great platforms that you should be posting on and at least have some sort of presence. Um, you know, take a look back at them. I mean, LinkedIn, for example, the people that I'm connected with, the over 600 plus, I think I have connections, I don't have a ton, they're all professional people who have professional jobs, who, you know, spend money with for trainers, for gym memberships, et cetera, et cetera. These are people that are going through the same things that you're going through. So why wouldn't you give them the same respect that you would the people that you're connected with on Facebook and Instagram? It's, it's more than just a, hey, I've got an MBA, I'm super professional type place. Now, the only thing you wanna be careful of with those platforms is how to engage with your audience the right way. Because like I said, I have a more professional attitude and I talk a lot more about coaching on LinkedIn as opposed to the communications I have on TikTok, okay? So if you want more um, conversations about that, definitely feel free to give us a shout and we can chat more about that and maybe even do a training on that as well. All right, so I got a little bit of time because my, my trainings are always long anyway. So I wanted to give you some no like, trust posting tips that are going to help you with you know, talking about doing more engagement. And like I said, remembering that you are a person. They're all based on all these tips that I just gave you. So number one is you wanna be vulnerable. Oh wait, 
I do not have an Instagram account yet, so I have no idea what you're talking about. I got you. Would love to see it. Got it. Okay, got it. We got two people. We'll create one. No big deal. Okay. So, so let me see. Where are we? Be vulnerable. Okay. So you want to be vulnerable and be relatable. And I can tell you, it's hard. It's hard to put yourself out there. It, it is really hard. Um, I still struggle with it. Sometimes I'll I'll have an idea and I'll start you know writing it up like I'm going to post it and I'll go, holy crap, that's like really me. Okay, if you're reading it and you're like, wow, that is like really the inside of me. That's good to post. People want to get to know you and they want to see that the struggles that you deal with and the things that are in your life are relatable. That's what's going to get them to like you and know you so that they can trust that when they want or need what we have, that you're going to be the person that's going to help them there and not just sell them something that they don't need or something that they're not going to know what to do with. So be vulnerable. Start creeping it out there a little bit. Start talking about, you know, things that have affected you and how you've gotten over them. You don't have to make these big sob stories about like, woe is me, but show your strength because all of you have a lot of strength inside and it's okay to show how you got that strength. So definitely that is, you'd be surprised who you're going to inspire and who's listening to you. Um, go live guys. I know it's hard. It's a struggle. It is like throwing yourself into the deep end, but people especially now want to see us. So if you're going to do a tip or something like that, go live, you know, be spontaneous. You don't have to be perfect. If you go through my scroll and see some of my lives, they are all over the place <laughs> and that's okay. People think it's funny. People want to see the real you. They don't want to see this perfect little mold of perfection. So Go for it. I would love to see you guys go live this week with your homework. Ah, okay. Um, show up. Yeah, I know that seems silly, but you got to show up. Show up for your for your people. Show up for your audience. Um, you know, I had a day. Excuse me, Christies. No, I'm good. I had a day Saturday. I was hungover all day. Now, did I show up with these awesome beach body posts and like, oh my god, I feel like crap, but I worked out. No, I didn't work out. But I still showed up. I threw something of coach up there. Everybody thought it was funny. And you're still active in people's feeds. You don't want to fall out of people's feeds. So even if you don't know what to say or what to do, pop something up. Throw something inspiring up there. Throw something that it like means something to you, something that just kind of hit you the right way. Because people are watching you. And they are going to notice if you're not there because you're like this bright light for them. So make sure you keep being that light, even if you're not always 100% you. Like, you know, like you're not feeling good. You should always be 100% you. You should always be you. Nobody else can be you better than you. Okay, what else? I'm See, I'm getting on my tangent. Tangents. Um, serve your audience. I believe we talked a little bit about this, a little bit about this last week. Tips. You, you know, tips, things that have helped you. This is going to build trust. Um, I did one this morning in our pineapple squad about, and I'm probably going to go live about it, you know, heck, why not, on my personal page, is about using calendars and trackers and tracking your progress. You know, do little tips like that. Like, this helped me. Um, and just say at the end of it, like, if you want more tips, you know, let me know, you know, engage with me, you know, let me know, pop a heart below and I'll do another tip tomorrow, something like that, because it lets you see your audience is like, oh, she's giving me something. This is cool. Like, look at this helped her. Maybe this can help me. And the more you do stuff like that, they're going to go, wow, maybe all these other things that she's, that are helping her, maybe those can help me too. And then the light bulb goes off. So Keep doing things like that so that your audience is excited and looks forward to seeing you. Um, here's a big one. You're going to attract what you share. And here's where what I mean by that. The more you share about working out, yep, we all it's part of it. Yep, you're gonna get the people who like, yep, I need to work out, and that's good. Okay, that's part of our business, okay. But as you grow into being a coach and you're like, I want to build this business, you need to start, I shouldn't even say that, you just start talking about it. Start talking about the coaching opportunity. Start sharing about 
things that have benefited you or what makes you feel good about being a part of this business. Because the more you post about this opportunity, the more people are going to come to you and go, what is this coaching thing? But if you don't share about it, you're not giving people the opportunity to even get curious about what you're doing and how fun it can be and where it can go from there. So definitely get in the habit now when you guys are like fresh out of the newborn coach bucket. I don't know why we're out of a bucket, but okay. Um, get in the habit of posting about coaching. Whether you're posting like you're celebrating a teammate, whether you're celebrating one of your challengers and you're so proud, whether you're celebrating a, an accomplishment or maybe like you got your first you know, check and you did something cool with it. You know, whatever it is, share. Find something in a little way to share about coaching because people are watching you and they're not just seeing that you're working out, they're seeing that you're inspiring other people. And lots of people want that little bug. They just don't say it out loud. Um, if you have ever have any doubt, definitely look into doing a social media audit. And what I mean by that is there is a process and I can drop, pop a link. I think I have a training somewhere about how you can go through your own social pages and just kind of dissect them and go, okay, this is why I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Um, if you feel like you're not getting any engagement, if you feel like nobody's t talking with you, you know, do a social, a social audit on yourself to see, like, you know, take a step back and say, what am I posting? What am I doing here? Um, if you're unsure how to do it, ask a coach. Ask one of your coaches. Ask somebody in here. And we can help you go through that audit for the first time so that you can take a step back and go, gee, these are the things I really should be posting about more. This should, you know, if sometimes I should post about this so I equal it out. You'd be surprised how quickly you can get into this bug about posting all these things. And then you take a look back and you're like, God, I didn't post any human events. Like my sister having a baby shower or my, you forget to post these things that make you a real person. So it, like I said, if you ever need help with a social audit, talk to a coach. I can show you how it's done. It's really quick and simple. And it allows you to, to go forward with some sort of roadmap as to these are the things I should be posting more consistently because these are the things my followers are like. So that is it. It's my training. Yeah, it's about that time. I usually go under 20 minutes. You're welcome. Um, homework. Yay. Wake up. It's time for me to announce your homework. If you're sleeping. Um, lacking human events. I know we are lacking human events right now. So you know what? This is a great time, Allie, to be creative and find ways to post about human events because we're all going through this right now. So I will be posting some human events tonight that will be fun and interesting. So kind of take the lead from there and it'll give you some creative juices to, to go further and you know, make our self-quarantine life a little more fun. Or at least, you know, give some people some entertainment. Okay, I want to be under 20. It's my goal. All right, homework. Your homework for Thursday is to create an engaging post. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. What I want you to do is I want you to ask a question. Get an opinion. It can be Beachbody related. It doesn't have to be Beachbody related. Um, I always suggest putting a picture in there. You don't want to be one of those, sorry if I offend someone, one of those like it works girls that is just constantly throwing questions up like, what's everybody doing today? Yes, it's engaging, all right? And I see where they're going with it. But when they post like three or four a day, it's like, okay, are you just bored and looking for somebody to talk to you? So. Pictures are always great. I always suggest pictures. Do a side-by-side -side of like, hey, I'm doing date night at home this week. Which outfit should I wear? And you post two pictures. Um, talk about like, you know, where you're going to go on your first night out when we all get locked out of prison. You know, when you get let out of prison. Whatever it is, find something to ask about. If you have questions, Feel free, that, oh, this is due Thursday, by the way. Thursday, people. If you have questions, feel free to chat with either your coach, myself, um, you know, post in here first if you want questions and, or if you want help. 
And that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to clock off before it hits 20. Yay! Go be awesome. Bye, Natalie.